Hello everybody, this is Dr. McBrick and I am going up to my wife's office and it says here that she's in a meeting. It says do not disturb unless you're bleeding, someone is dying or you have wine. Well, I don't have any of those, but can I come in for a second? Hello. Hi. This is my wonderful wife, Kara, and doing? she is in her office. Um, I had a question for you. Okay. I've got a lot of uh, viewers who have been asking questions about what it's like to be the spouse of an AFOL. What the heck's an AFOL? <laughs> it, adult fan of Lego. Okay. So would you mind answering some questions for sure, me? Sure, I'll answer some questions. All right, let's go down in the Lego room. Okay. All right. Hello everybody, I got my wife down here to the Lego room and um, she is actually here and she's going to answer questions, right? Yes, I'm gonna answer questions. You, you, and she didn't even <laughs> she didn't even know what an A-fall was. So Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I mean, you know, all of this this huge didn't even but yeah, know. didn't even know what an A-fall is. Well anyway, like I said, sweetie, we've um we I a couple of A Falls have done this, a couple of YouTubers, Lego YouTubers. I'm gonna laugh every time I know. you say that. Lego YouTubers have yes. done this. Um Alex Noons was one, a couple other people, and uh they've done it with their spouses, and so I thought, you know what, it would be good. A lot of people are asking questions. Um and so I thought that uh, And you've been doing this how see, long and I've never been on a video. Oh, I've been doing this for, it'll be three years in January now. <laughs> That's and, hard to believe. <clears throat> never been on a video. But um anyway, so we'll go ahead and get started and everything. Um and uh, so we'll ask our first uh, question here. Okay. Um, the first question is, uh, did you know he was into Lego when you met him? I don't think it's something that we discussed immediately, but I think I knew relatively quickly because Adrian, my son, was about two or, you know, two and a half. And uh, you had some old toys that you pulled out for him to play with when we, he was at your apartment. Okay. So I think that that's when I first knew that you were you know, interested in Lego. Yeah, I guess I did have some Lego at my old apartment. So, because I was a bachelor, you know, that kind of stuff, you know, you got to have some Lego in your bachelor pad. Um, so, uh, but yeah, okay. I didn't, that, that, that you makes didn't sense. Remember that, no, did no, I didn't, but that makes sense. That makes sense. Do you like Lego and do you build? I like Lego. I mean, I have to like Lego given that it takes up my entire basement. You know, I, I think that there's, just, there, <laughs> it's, it's a fun element. There's a certain element of like when I was a kid, I would have liked to have had like the cool Barbie village, you know, where right. Barbie could go everywhere. Like I made Barbie's village out of like old, empty um, Girl Scout cookie boxes. Oh, that wow. was my Barbie wow. village. Well, I could so, build like, you a huge Barbie I village. I know. But so this is like kind of achieves that sense of a dream of like, wow, this is like what if I would have had this when I was a kid, like it would have been amazing, you know. So, so, so you're jealous. In a way, that's part of why <laughs> I don't feel like I can... I don't feel like I can play with it, you know, because that's what I really kind of want to do is to play, but I'm kind of old enough now because I'm 40. I'm kind of old enough now that I'm a little beyond like playing. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I'm a, you're a lot older than I'm me almost, and you play. I'm, yeah. I'm almost 55 and I still play with Lego, but you <laughs> but, know. Yeah. So anyways, no, I don't build. Um, I could build um, and I have helped the kids and stuff build before, but I don't build myself. Well, you know, it's funny because, um, I mean, you know, Adrian and Piper and I, I mean, we did play, but now that they're older, you know, now that Adrian's a, a, a teenager and, and Piper is, she's kind of a teenager, even though she's 10, she's still, you know, yeah. acts like a teenager. Um, so they don't play with Lego, um, but we still build, the, the three of us, we still build, mostly Adrian and I, Piper doesn't do so much anymore, um, but we used to play a lot. And that's one of the reasons why we started this, because yeah. we played. So, but now I can tell you that I don't like sit down and play with my little guys Although, oh no, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, so, but, but I, in my mind, I have this narrative of when I set up scenes. So it's kind of like playing, but I play in my mind to justify that I'm 55. Anyway, next question. Okay, <laughs> next question. Um, oh, and I see, wait a minute. We got uh, several uh, questions on at the same time there. Let's go to, uh, do you know how much Ooh. money? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> um, this is not a good question. Whoever asked this, please, uh -huh. you're going to get me in trouble. I'm going to get divorced right here on the air. I don't know. I mean, it's got to be north of 10 mil or 10, 10 million. 10, 000. <laughs> it's got to be north Gosh, of 10,000. I mean, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess anywhere from like 15 to $20,000. Can you imagine $10 million worth of Lego? <laughs> no, I don't want you. It would be like a house literally made out oh of Lego. Gosh. Like some of these guys have built on those, uh, 
random Netflix shows. Yeah. Um, oh my but yeah, gosh. so probably higher than fifteen to twenty thousand. Oh my which god, which kind of blows my mind. That would be awesome if you, I mean, if you did that. You're I mean, not allowed to do that. Well, we don't have ten million dollars to blow, <laughs> but um, if we had ten million dollars, I definitely. I, as much as I love Lego, honey, I would not blow it on, t- on Thank Lego. Thank you. I'd buy you, I'd buy you a house with another basement so you could do no, Barbies. No, I know. <laughs> I want to move to Bonaire, remember? Okay. Yeah. You're buying mommy a her care house to move to Bonaire. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's right, we are. All right, let's see if I can find the next question here. Um, let's see. When did you know he was serious about Lego and not just playing? There, there there's a good question. I think by the time that we actually, he, you know, Mike started talking about building some in the, in the basement and actually using some of the space in the basement and wanting to, you know, kind of get a couple tables from Ikea and put some stuff together. We have a couple. And I think, yeah, we have like an Ikea store worth of tables. Um, but, and actually, I mean, this is a funny a little tidbit. We've actually ordered so many base plates from Amazon that they no longer allow us to order base plates <laughs> because we've, like, maxed out. Yeah. That so happens. That's, you know. That happens. But anyways, um, <laughs> I, I think um, once we got the Lego store and Mike was able to get, like, his, you know, very, you know, VIP card um, and start to accrue points, um, it was all downhill or uphill from there whichever you <laughs> downhill. I see how this interview is going you asked me the but, questions you know one of the things one of the things that, that that she never really paid much attention to my hobby I tried to ignore and, it so I didn't think about how much it cost yeah yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> to that's, be honest. well that's so. that's true but but what's but when I when I got when I got in the audition for the Lego Masters that and I started going deal. through the process to audition then she she owns a marketing company so uh-huh. she was very much of a all right let's go for it let's do it and all that kind of stuff I bragged about and, you to all my friends and coworkers thanks. too thank you and so so yeah so that 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 was to me at least when I felt like okay she knows that I'm real. She and can't that I, deny yeah, that's it. Right. I'm legit. I'm, I'm something in my wife's <laughs> eyes. I am something in my wife's eyes. Yes, so, um, yeah. So anyway, that's uh, that's that. Let's see if find a nice. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Um, what is the favorite thing about mm-hmm. my hobby that you like that you benefit from? That I benefit. Yeah, from? I guess. Yeah. What is your favorite thing? Well, you yeah. just says what is my favorite thing about your hobby. Well, yeah, but um, I think that. I really enjoy um, you having, you know, th- I think that, you know, the Dr. McBrick channel on YouTube is something that I'm really proud of for you, you know, mm-hmm. and I love being able to share it with other people that this is what goes on in my house and that it's something that actually they can check out my husband on YouTube and he's got this great <laughs> Lego channel. That's... And I think you've just done a really great job of Aww. making this such a visual experience. And so the photography and the videography and stuff is such a good quality that it really makes me proud of you and your work. And I like to share it with other people. Well, thank you, honey. You're welcome. That's very nice. I don't know if I'll get demonetized because of the kiss. Um, but anyway, <laughs> and don't forget to check me out on Instagram. Don't forget about my Instagram. Oh, that's, yeah. That's how we started. At that's how I started. That's right. That's how I started everything was with Instagram. Well, that, honey, that really is nice. Thank you very much. Um, wow. Okay. So see, we almost got divorced there, but we're back. Yep. We made up with a kiss. That's how it works. That's how it works in marriage. Um, all right. So what do you dislike <laughs> most about my Lego hobby? Well, <laughs> um, I would say the expense of it is definitely something. Um, yeah. I would say that the need for Ikea tables, you know, that itch that you get when you're like, I need some Ikea tables, you know. <laughs> yeah, and it's um, been really hard during the pandemic because I, yeah, can't, I can't go won't deliver them. <laughs> down seven miles to the Ikea um, store. And I would just say probably the time that spent doing this away from, you know, me or away from us is something that it's a cost benefit kind of thing. Like, you know, I'm sad that I don't get that time with you, but Mm -hmm. I'm glad that you get the time to do something that's important to you. And I try to view that as time that I can spend either on myself or with the kids. And, you know, you spend so much time with the family um, that you deserve that time for yourself. So I try, even though it's hard for me sometimes, I try to remind myself that you deserve that. Well, thank you. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's funny because one of the things I've started to do, and this is a is a tip <clears throat> for all you A-falls out there, 
Um, but one of the things I've tried to do, and I know of several of my of my buddies try to do this too, who also are Lego YouTubers, is try to do my videos so that I can get them done, get them in the can, upload them, you know, drop them um, on the weekends, and then that way I don't have to do anything on the weekend. Um, I can spend because what I was doing was I was actually building on the weekends and doing stuff like that, um, and so then there I wouldn't have time during the weekends to do stuff. But during the pandemic, since we've been here in this house for a year, um, you know, we, we yeah we can't go anywhere, and so I've been able to after I do my work for my job, I've been able to in the evening or other times and to 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 get the videos and get things done. So that that way I can spend the weekend. Like we're going to decorate for Christmas uh, uh, this this weekend. Finally, I know it's kind of late, but still. Um, anyway, right, so sidebar topic yeah. before you move forward. Uh oh. Um, no, it's nothing bad um, for you at least. Um, you know, we started quarantining pretty much directly after my 40th birthday. My birthday is right. March 6th. Right. And so I turned 40 March 6th, and then we started quarantining. Yep. And so I've literally spent the entirety of my 40th birthday year in this house with you people and, <laughs> with, and you, with, you with you people she you says survive. with you people <laughs> um but i just think it's like such one of those groundhog day kind of things yeah, that you know been. i can't believe that's how i've spent my 40th year it has yeah. been it has been and on that note hit the like <laughs> button if you like this video like so, it for Kara's yes 40th. that's right like it for her 40th birthday um hit the like button and uh uh subscribe if you're so inclined and share if you'd like all right let's see there might be another question on here honey Let's see here. Um, uh, yeah, this one, and I don't know. I don't know if you, if you, if you. This one might be tough for you. <clears throat> What's your favorite part of Figsdale and Six Figs? <clears throat> Excuse um, me. You know, I kind of have. You, you Shame, gotta turn it the right way. Shameless yeah. plug. <laughs> I have two favorite parts. Really? Yeah. So I like the Main Street area because it's been really fun as Adrian's grown and he's really been interested in, you know, the, the parts of the Lego city and stuff like that. And that's been such an integral part to our, to Santa, you know, over the years. All the modulars. Of, you know, yeah. Yeah. So I, I have a lot of good memories around the modulars and being able to put that together and watching you and Adrian kind of make the city grow. Mm -hmm. But I would say my other favorite part is the amusement park and how like you and Adrian have woven together like the pirate ship and the, you know, the, what is the roller coaster and like all these things that you've, you've made into its really unique um, destination. And wow. so, yeah, so I really like those both things. I would say that if I had to choose probably main street more just because yeah. it's, it's got so many fond family memories. Yeah. And you know, I, I mean, I, I like that too, because that's where we started. We started with, I bought when Karen and I first got married, um, <laughs> we bought, uh, and Adrian was, I don't know what it was, two years old. Um, and, uh, and I, I think it was, that, yeah. it was, well, I, it was a year or two after yeah. we got married. So he was about so three or four. four. And, uh, I bought the, uh, the firehouse, um, and, uh, that he modular be piece for, because it was something that like, he really wanted he to play did? with. He did. Yeah. And remember, I guess he would have been up, rem up for it. Remember yeah. how he, he dropped it on the floor and it shattered? <laughs> remember? I forgot about that. <laughs> Cause I, you know, I'm like the first modular I've always Do wanted modulars. I know. And, and I'm like, just be careful with this buddy. And he dropped it on the floor and he was so scared and so upset. And, uh, we ended up rebuilding it, and that's kind of when the whole, Lego thing started yeah. between he and I, and we really started kind of building because I realized even as a four year old, that dude could build. And Lord um, Business couldn't control everything. You know? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite Lego set? Ooh. Um, like, I want to go run over there and look real quick. Well, you have um, a set up in your office, I know. I do. I love that set. That's the Beatles um, set and as the Yellow Submarine set. And I really do like that one. Um, I don't know. It, I it's, built it. Yeah, you did. It has to be one of the <laughs> ones downtown because like we had some really cool ones. Um, the one that has like the detective's office. Yeah. I like that one a lot. Well, we got that. We got that when we went to Florida. Um, oh, when we yeah. To, when we Lego went to Lego World? Lego yeah. Land. Yeah. Lego Land, Florida. So that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, we got that. And we built, we built half of it at your, at your dad's house <laughs> in Florida the at their, at their winter house. Yeah. 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 So there you go. There. That's a good thing. Right. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, let's see. Uh, this is interesting. This is an interesting question. Do your relatives know about my Lego hobby? Yeah, they know about his Lego hobby. <laughs> you know, if they discovered what we had in our basement, like, you know, you you invested all this 
and your Legos. Um, But actually, they've been really cool about it. And uh, (laughs) they really understand the importance of Mike having a creative outlet, Mike having his own hobby. Um, And that's that's really what it is. It's I mean, it's it's just like, you know, some people work in clay or oils or, you know, I mean, or or sing or whatever. And I mean, it's like I do Lego. Yeah, you know, that's kind of. But I think that um, also seeing it it bring together like you and the children and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, also you have, I, I, you know, again, going back to the whole Lego Masters thing, I think that was a big moment for like the whole family to be like, whoa, this is like a big deal, you know? I mean, having to talk about you potentially leaving the family for like six weeks and going on this show, you know? Yeah, um, I remember that. Was a huge that. thing for everybody. I remember that. I did. I do think that kind of made some even my parents. <laughs> right, that's my, what I was my thinking. parents. Yeah, because <laughs> heck, my my parents are not like buying my merch on my merch store. <laughs> they um, did. Yeah, Your my, dad did, my didn't he? yeah, my dad bought a yeah. sweater and everything, and it's so funny at the Doctor McBrick General Store, by the way. Um, <laughs> I, I make no money from that, so don't worry about it. But um, you know, it was funny because I remember when it was like, okay, I've gone through the first set, the second set, the third set of auditions, and we mm-hmm. kept doing it, and then they they all kind of were like, wow, this this is serious. This is not just wow. him just buying a bunch of toys. Mm-hmm. So that was kind of cool. I, and um, but everyone has been very supportive. And to be quite honest with you, um, you know, it, it and I I have a video on my channel, as you know, um, it helped me through depression too. Yes. Um, and when I was when I really kind of uh, broke down and had that depression, um, it helped me through that. Um, and uh, uh, so um, yeah, it's a creative outlet for me, mm-hmm. and and I appreciate that. Well, hon, I I don't think there are any more questions. Um, but uh, um, do you have any questions? Yeah, is, do I have any questions <laughs> of you? Um, you you know, I'm really proud. I'm just very happy because you just seem to be. I mean, that I care more about this than I yeah, thought. Yeah, she cares more about it than I thought she would. Oh uh, yeah, actually, that's true. So <laughs> that makes me real, real happy. Oh, you're demonetized. I know. Now. Oh, I'm demonetized. <laughs> demonetized again. Um, those eight falls, they didn't take care of you. I know. I know. And now, <laughs> I now we have three cats in our house. And one of our cats is now up in going Ginger's through, walking through, the city. walking through the city, and she loves the cats. Um, I I like the cats, um, but uh, I like the cats unless they're in the leg room, and then I don't like the cats what so much. What if you put like a GoPro camera on the cat's head though, and then you could film the cat walking through the city? <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool. Ginger but see, probably look, that. right there is the Ninjago movie ready to happen. <laughs> And that, she is. She's walking that right through the scares scene. right she's, by Apocalypseburg. It was an orange cat too, wasn't it? Uh, in the Lego I, I can't remember. I can't remember. I think, or it was a white cat. One yeah. of the two. But, but she is over there and she's scaring she's me to death. She's getting ready to go. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to see if I want to see if I can flip the camera here. Let's see. Um, let me flip. Oh, if I can get the camera at the right angle here. Let's see. There she is. There she is. She's going to get it. Well, everybody. This has been wonderful. Please like and share this video and subscribe if you're so inclined. But I got to go get this cat off of here. And thank you so much, Kara. Um, I, I love you, honey. Thanks for thanks for uh, doing this video I love with you me. too. This thank is you. Dr. McBrick signing out.